हेलो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर एमडीई ट्यूटोरियल माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट एंड टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन कंट्रोल पॉलिसी इन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट और यू कैन से हाउ वी कैन कंट्रोल द स्मार्ट स्क्रीन और हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द स्मार्ट स्क्रीन पॉलिसी इन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर सो लेट मी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो लेट्स मूव टू द इंडियन कंसोल एंड वील सी हाउ इट गोइंग टू वर्क so i am in the mem console in the intune console let's move it to the endpoint security under the endpoint security we have asr attack surface reduction and here we are going to create this application control policy so now here let me click on the create policy and uh, what we have here um, let's select the window uh, window stand in the letter and in this section going to select is the application control policy so in the coming video i will talk about the device control policy and the web protection so let's learn today about the application control so here is some description is mentioned about the application control so application control can help you mitigate the security threat um, uh, by the restricting the application that user allow to run the code on the system and the kernel so application control policy can block or sign in in the script msi and uh, the powershell and the other languages so now let's click on the create and here let's mention the application control let me just copy paste it come going to policy plus policy for testing i can has to give the testing t e s t i h testing now let's click on the create and now here let's see what are the option we are getting to configure this uh, application control policy so now here we have the many uh, many few option to come uh, to configure it so app locker the control app locker so if uh, this is for the app application locker so enforce the component and the store app audit component and the store app enforce component store app the store the smart locker or the audit component so if you want to configure it you can say uh, if you don't want to configure you can say not configured if you want to put it on the audit mode for app store and the smart locker or if you want to put it like a enforce component uh, the smart locker so let's go for the audit mode for now and uh, so uh, it won't be enforce the policy it will be under the uh, audit mode and you can get at the logs detail now here is a uh, block user from the ignoring uh, smart screen warning so this is uh, if you click on the iconic button if you set it with yes then is smart screen will not uh, uh, will not prevent or the option to the user uh, disagree uh, the warning and run the app so this is basically when you are blocking the user to ignoring a smart screen warning so uh, user won't be having any control to ignore the warning it will just directly it will implement so here is this setting this not configured will return the setting windows by default so if you are not configuring then user will get a control and the windows default uh, policy can be the applied on that so or the user will be having to override uh, this policy so user can override the policy or the setting require the turn on windows screen uh, smart screen setting to be enabled so if you click yes then for this smart screen user cannot override the policy on locally on locally on his machine but if you have uh, not configured it that means is user can able to add it or override the smart screen policy for their own so let's go not configure this and turn on the windows smart screen so now let's see if we selected yes then uh, how it's going to work so uh, the setting is yes enforce the use smart screen for the all the users and setting this uh, not configured will return it uh, will return it setting that for the uh, default setting that means says if you have uh, not configured that means says user will be having to control modify this override settings so let's 
टर्न ऑन द विंडोज स्मार्ट स्क्रीन एंड ऑफ वी आर गुड टू गो लेट्स क्लिक ऑन स्कॉप टैग लेट्स गो टू द असाइनमेंट एंड वट वी हैव हियर द इनक्लूड ओके सो वेर इज द इनक्लूड ऑप्शन द ग्रोप लेट मी गो टू द इनक्लूड and here already i have created a group that can shows you uh, uh sorry i have added the uh, create a task group where i added the task so here i have a group that called the application control and let me select this if you want to see what is inside this application control because many of the uh, uh many of the user are like under thinking or, or what was the inside it's a user inside or the device so here if you go with that uh, the members under the members so here i added it device not the user so this policy will be implementing on this uh, devices so now let's go to the next and go to next and uh, now on this device this smart screen will be enabled when the uh, when this policy has reached to the test device so now let us move it to quickly on the test device so this is my the test device and uh, let me sync this device so how can i do that let me go here settings accounts so now let us go here and uh, to the access work or access school account now go here and go to the info and uh, just do the sync so once we did the sync this policy will implement on the stepwise and then uh, this smart screen will be enabled so as per the policy we have not a uh, setup like uh, to block this smart screen even though user can modify the smart screen uh override the policy for the smart screen so let's wait until this policy has replicated to this okay. so now the policy has updated and let's the validate to see whether the user is having control on the smart screen or not so now go here open your the defender console and uh, here we need to go app and the browser under the reputation page go here and uh, here is a smart screen for the microsoft app store so microsoft defender smart screen protected your devices to back check on your the store so now you have the control uh, to to uh, to off or on for your the smart screen here so if you off it then it will give you the uh, app store is off so your device may be the vulnerable because of your the smart screen is off so you can make it on so we have the user control as well when we uh, selected under the policy so now here user also can be modified so let's go back to the again our the application control policy and now let's see what are the settings we have selected here and here we have given the user block the ignoring the smart screen warning so here we have not configured it yes if we uh, we configured it yes then uh, user won't able to modify the settings locally so that's what the features we have given so if it is off then the the user device will be vulnerable or the virus attack can be the happen so this is smart screen is helping us for this unwanted application or the malicious application are running in your system so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video thank you